Hi, welcome to Linux channel. So I was having a session uh, with uh, uh, an abroad uh, student about uh, IP options uh, and uh, the source code uh, within the kernel uh, uh, IPv4 network stack of Linux kernel and uh, things like that, which is when I thought uh, uh, anyway I'm discussing in the session. Uh, uh, let me cover a quick episode on the same and uh, so that it can be a part of uh, uh, IPv4 data structure uh, series which I'm doing it past many years. So if you go to the website and if you go to this uh, video section, uh, you can see I have listed down all the categories as I always suggest uh, uh, if you want to search a specific topic. You can always come here and uh, see which is relevant for you rather than going to the uh, you know Linux channel YouTube channel and uh, search the video you are looking for uh, because uh, you get various topics spread all across Linux channel which is not grouped uh, even though you can do some playlists and stuff like that it is not a proper place to navigate which you are looking for so instead you can go here and you can see here as a part of uh, Linux kernel uh, network programming uh, various uh, data structures I put together you can see here uh, uh, you can see struct IP header so this is commonly v4 header uh, in case if I cover any topics in the future about v6 maybe I can continue within the same or I can create a new data structure okay for that so uh, once this video is uh, edited and posted I may write an article over here so same way you can see here various topics are covered so this time we discuss about uh, the IP header options. So usually if you go to this IP header uh, format you can see here you have this fixed header. I have even uh, covered extensively about network uh, uh, protocol architecture, this header architecture and things like that. What are the static headers and dynamic headers and stuff. So as a part of that you can see you have the fixed uh, static size of IP header and then you can have some extra uh, you know stuff which you can add any you know metadata and stuff and you can also have some standard uh, uh, you know um, uh, options as a part of IP options so this option since it is dynamically added it's not always you can find in uh, uh, all packets it's just added on a situational basis so this is more like a TLV uh, so that uh, you can mention what is the length of that option and uh, it is like a type length value so you can see here this has uh, you know extra space for options so, so in case if there is any options provided it can have that populated over here i even searched any sample options uh, packets if i catch uh, sample packet capture ip options uh, i'm not able to find in uh, this uh, wireshark wiki and uh, even uh, this packet life and uh, you know websites like that okay so in case if i find i can add it in this you know video description so anyway back to the topic see this time uh, i'm more focused about this uh, data structure rather than uh, discussing about the options itself because even i know to an extent <laughs> and uh, this is not something we use uh, quite often so if you go here uh, if i search I found one interesting table here you can see here various options are listed down uh, one of the little bit uh, commonly uh, known one is this record route uh, once this is enabled uh, uh, usually IP options uh, first of all even before you use it is not that encouraged uh, because if you are adding any extra uh, you know header uh, you know like this extra you know metadata it is going to take up some more extra space and uh, this is going to impact your uh, length a payload it can carry as a part of the overall uh, you know um, packet empty because you are now adding something extra and then uh, in case it is something added in intermediate routers uh, then it has to do this packet fragmentation of you know incoming packets so hence it is not generally encouraged uh, uh, but of course there are such options available so you can see here some are uh, listed over here you can see the type uh, mentioned over here so if it is uh, type uh, say 0 it is this 1 it is this in that case if it is type 7 it is this so in case if you if it is enabled it can record uh, this intermediate you know routers data about this intermediate routers you can see here 
record a packet it takes to this destination so all the intermediate routers it can note it down as it passes it will be keep updating this ip options so it is not a good thing as one can understand uh, if i put this way you have this uh, standard uh, ip header and then you keep adding that extra metadata so which means each router is tampering that ip header usually ip header is only uh, edited uh, or modified in every router as a part of his ip forward uh, this ttl count but not anything more <laughs> so if you keep doing that and obviously this is going to add latency in a high speed network i'm not talking about a low speed uh, network but if it is a high speed network it is going to add some extra overhead so hence it is not generally encouraged so if you see uh, in kernel source if you go to ip forward uh, so if you go to this ip stack and ip forward dot c you can see like it is uh, modified only uh, to update the ttl or something like that so if you go to this uh, net ip4 and ip forward uh, it shows uh, some error or it loads quite slow in case if you don't have patience you can anyway uh, download the kernel source and uh, you can have a look so for me since uh, for this video sake i am trying to use this interface <laughs> finally loaded up uh, you can see in the case of ip forward as um, you know in this case uh, it is a data plane is in the software layer as i explained in some videos i don't want to extensively again explain so in the case of uh, regular home routers uh, the linux kernel stack is what acts as a data plane or forward plane versus uh, in the case of any enterprise routers so you can see here you can see a sample implementation uh, or you, you can see the implementation of v4 uh, forward plane uh, so you can see uh, ip forward you can see the only thing modified is this uh, you know ttl count and of course it does all the checks and uh, you know if any packet violates it is going to drop that packet so you can anyway verify other than that it doesn't do anything much but in case if you start adding uh, more and more uh, things to do in the case of forward plane then it is going to add the latency so that's what it is so anyway back to this topic so if you google you get some uh, you know information like this so one of the links i stumbled across is this and also it talks about this uh, you know record route stuff you can see here so generally as it's a tlv you can see here type length and uh, value is there so that's what it is so it uh, says that how much uh, you know data length is there so length is there and the type is there so with this we will know what is the option type as per this you know table actually so that's what it is and uh, coming back to the data structure in the kernel you can find this um, you know ip options uh, related data structure you can see here ipv4 ip options uh, dot c so you can navigate uh, this source code and uh, get uh, more uh, you know information about the options uh, and also you can see you can see here by the way struct ip options and uh, that has been defined in uh, you know net uh, inet uh, soft dot touch you can see here so this is what it is and uh, if you want to have a you know table match you can see this is these are the various uh, standard options and if you find uh, if you want to find this match you can again go through in the kernel source of the options type so maybe we can try that since bootlin is taking some time in case if it doesn't load then we can quickly navigate uh, directly the kernel source itself unfortunately we do we need to do grep and other things unlike what it is you know quickly doable in bootlin you can see the options uh, data structure uh, if you go up can see the options data structure and uh, the related uh, you know various apis you can see there so as i always navigate and uh, show in my videos okay so again again uh, this is not any extensive uh, video on uh, ip options uh, to some extent what i uh, did a code walk sometime in the past i vaguely remember and uh, also something i was working again i vaguely remember this is not something day to day everyone uses but again since i was having a discussion with my student i thought maybe i can do a quick cover up on this topic so that in the future sometime i can take some follow up on that same uh, with more you know information 
so hope you can see ip options and uh, this is the thing and uh, uh, let's see if any hash defines we can find or some uh, macros we can find for the same So we can even search uh, IP options uh, record route. Yeah, you can see record uh, address of ongoing device stuff like that. Record route IP options dot C. Yeah, you can also see that it is uh, appending this and uh, stuff like that. Uh, route yeah since uh, bootlin is uh, taking lot of time you can see i said uh, over here and uh, we can see uh, it's been used in uh, so and so lines in some open WRT website. You can see there is an issue in uh, bootlin servers. Okay, so we can quickly go here and uh, navigate. Uh, yeah, you can see here these are various uh, you know IP header dot h and you can see it has various uh, yeah these uh, hash hash defines are there for that IP options. And you can see here actually if it is uh, this this and we can also see the match between that uh, table uh, this is 131 137 things like that versus here it is in hexadecimal uh, format uh, control reserved uh, versus this it is 7 and options control uh, options control is 0 and they are doing this uh, flag setting okay so which means uh, R with the 0 which is going to be the same. So RR is number 7. You can see it matches this uh, table. Again we can cross check with this SIP, uh, CIPSO or timestamp is number 4. We come here and uh, here it is not mentioned. What else is there? Probe MTU which is 11 and we can see if anything matches that MTU. Uh, which is not defined here and what about uh, trace route is 82 something like that uh, 82 hexadecimal 82 more programming 82 which is 52 we can see if anything is defined over here yeah timestamp is for what about CIPSO? It is not there. Uh, maybe this table doesn't contain all that options. And uh, record row stream identifier. What about uh, no operation? And you can see here uh, no operation is there. So like this you can see there uh, the way it has been implemented. So go through this uh, hash defines uh, uh, data structures and uh, you know surrounding uh, you know APIs uh, about IP options okay and uh, one thing you should also find is if there is any uh, you know modifications it has to be done how it is updating it how it is appending something on top of it and things like that you can uh, uh, go through that also you can see here IP forward options you know API is there so like this you can do a code walk as I said in the you know beginning, uh, this video the objective is you know when you need to do some dig down, you know go through these sources and uh, you can find uh, you know um, the corresponding data structure which is the struct IP options, and you can go here and you can find the data structure uh, which is defined over here. Okay, so that is what it is and uh, you can also see here ip options you know ip options data uh, which is the type length and value so which possibly may contain that
Yeah, you can see here, uh, here it is also binding that API, I am sorry, data structure in this INET cork. Yeah, and uh, INET sock, as you can see here, this is the main uh, in a socket uh, data structure you could see here again you have this IP options you know bind it over here because the reason is uh, when uh, you have this uh, TX path uh, especially uh, what happens is if you are creating a custom uh, packet uh, with uh, you know a IP header and then you need to add some sockets uh, sorry I mean this options or something like that uh, then it should have the data about the whole IP header uh, detail details as well as any options uh, you know which is uh, binded by that okay so hence you can see here so that's what it is I don't want to go much in depth and uh, you know uh, this IP options is something I will be much pleased if I can get any mm, you know uh, sample packets with the options uh, you know uh, extra fields then we can have more you know fun uh, you know uh, seeing the live examples and then correlating that with the kernel implementation so one thing also you can do always is sometimes you can search uh, the kernel source uh, sometimes you can always uh, search the kernel source documentation path See here it is not been done hopefully let me go back include parent directory see here it is not there because it is a, some sort of open wrt source but if you go here you should always find uh, the documentation the kernel documentation and sometimes you can go through if there is any documentation uh, written by the kernel team itself so in that case uh, you will find some examples they themselves may mention any to do so something is not covered what it has to be done uh, things like that they may discuss in the documentation quite often so hope you like this video in case if you want to discuss anything uh, post your queries in youtube comments uh, thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye